Hey everyone, today I'm designing the last versions of the marble gates. Before I start, I want to explain to you what the marble gates do and why they're so important for the Marble Machine X. So when I turn the crank, the big programming wheel starts to move. On the programming wheel, you have the magnetic programming pins. The magnetic programming pins activates these registrators who pulls these gray parts here and release a marble from the marble divider. The marble comes rushing out from below under the marble divider and follows down to where it should be released. This marble here is going to be dropped at the same time as the marble from the marble divider up here is released. So in this tempo, this drop closing before the second marble arrives. But now if I slow down, there, did you see that? That marble escaped. And if I come to a standstill... So the job of the marble gates is to close this pathway and not open until this door is closed. I have been using four kinds of marble gates on the Marble Machine X and for the drums I've already decided to use the Matrix Sentinels marble gate. But for the, all the other channels I'm going to choose between either the L hooks or the around the back design. Let me start with showing you the L-hook design. So these aluminium L-hooks have a 90 degree bend. They're made by Pilot's Workshop. When this channel moves this way, a marble is released. Here's the L-hook. It goes in to the opening straight under the gray piece. So we push back the channel. The marble is now resting on the aluminium piece and not until I let it back. There it released the marble. Now I wanna fine tune the timing of the release. I think it's slightly early, which means that we want this L-hook to be a little bit longer. I found a longer L-hook and now the timing is correct. Check this. And release back. Just when this white ball knob is closing, the marble is released. Perfect. I dropped this marble. It hits the instrument, but the second marble is now up there, locked by this aluminium L-hook. And not until this is closed, it will come down. You see, no marble. This is closing. There the marble comes. It doesn't matter if I play fast or very slow, like this. It stays open. If I go extremely slowly, like I'm just starting playing a song or something. Look at this. How cool is that? Thank you everyone for that round of applause. So, if I go fast, then we have a problem with this solution. When I play a fast song like that, it takes quite a lot of time for the marble to recharge. Did you see that? So this is where it gets interesting. We want the Marble Machine X to repeat the same note as quick as possible. And the higher up in this system we put the marble gate, the marble will be held higher up. And when this is closed, the marble will have a longer distance to travel, which means the higher up we put the marble gate, the slower the Marble Machine X can repeat the same note. This makes quite a big difference. So enter solution number two, the around the back. We take the marble gate and we move it all the way down here, much closer to the marble release. So this leftmost channel has the L-hook marble gate. I'm gonna leave that on there. And on this rightmost channel, I'm going to build the around the back marble gate. I made a little metal wire connected to here. This is just a mock-up. And when this marble door is opened, this wire comes around the back and intersects the marble with the path. So when I play fast, the marble gate doesn't intersect the marble at all. And the marble reaches this point as fast as possible from up there. When I play slow and the door stays open for a long time, the marble is intersected by the around the back marble gate and not until it's closed, it will charge. Okay, so let's compare these two solutions. So two programming pins like this 
next to each other will make the two channels play exactly simultaneous. Did you see that? This marble is in place much earlier than the second marble. Once more. The earlier this marble is in place, the faster we can repeat the same note. So the around the back marble gate is a valid solution. I'm just gonna make a little more serious version of it. That doesn't look too bad. Let's not overweld it, as always. Now it's super easy to calibrate. I can just bend it back a little bit. And then we can calibrate when the marble gets released. Look at that, it's absolutely perfect. So now you can see that it's closing. So you have seen the L hooks, you have seen the around the back. Let me show you the overcomplicated design. In the beginning of the process, I had this overcomplicated version actually on the kick drum channel and it worked perfectly. Let me show you how it works. Two add-ons were welded to this rail and between there we had this pivot that could pivot like so. And then the dropper that we're still using on the solution right now was threaded in like this. So when the dropper was opening, the pivot would close here. So imagine a marble coming here. When this thing that drops the marble opens, this thing closes. You see that? The largest pro with this solution is that it doesn't use space on the side. So the around the bend solution is actually using space on the side here. And with many channels next to each other, this was designed for that purpose alone, but this system did fail from time to time. There was kind of a lot of tweaking of this distance and you really didn't get a big movement. You can unisolate this one and then you can see how it looked on the whole machine. <laughs> Here from the front you can see how important it is that I didn't have anything on the side because it's so tight everything. So yeah, this was the overcomplicated version. I'm actually very happy to retire this one. We have only one more marble gate to show you and that is on the machine itself. Finally, we come to the marble gate with the best name, the Matrix Sentinels L-Hook Reverse. So when I was working on the Marble Machine X Place Drums video, I noticed that the drums couldn't play fast enough with any of the first three marble gate methods because the marbles had too far way to travel. I wanted the kick drum to play do, 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 do. And if we call the double releases A and B, that would be A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. And it didn't work. So what I did is that I took the whole solution from up here and I built a replica down here. By replicating what happens up in the machine further down to the marble release, I managed to get the marbles to load much faster. I have a little hole here if I want to charge it up. So you can see the marbles are now building here. And this is the extra reservoir closer to the marble release that makes the drums able to play so fast. And I'm super, super happy about this. But I'm going to leave the Matrix Sentinels only for the kick drum, the Hyatt and the snare drum. No other instrument on the Marble Machine X have this demand of being able to repeat so fast. So focus your attention right up there. You will see when I release a marble that there's actually a marble right there. You see it there? And this is the reverse L hook. So I close it and it falls into position. So now look at this plywood section here. It has the exact same function as the gray parts has right under the marble divider. So this is a replica of the function from the marble divider. So when the channel is opened, you see that this section is pulled out. And that is because that section has now released the marble who is stuck right here. But this section is also stopping the marble cue 
from falling down. So it's choosing to only choose one of the marbles in this marble queue. Look what happens when I release here, this marble queue will fall down. Did you see that? Because one marble from this marble queue is now charged into this section. So we actually have one marble ready to be dropped, one marble charged in this section, and the queue is there, I open, one marble was dropped, this marble who was in this section is now in the L hook, and when I go back, the L hook marble falls down and the next marble from the queue is charged. So I just absolutely love this system. I think it looks great and, I, and it just works great. Let's look at the pros and cons of these four types. Let's start with the L hooks. So the pros are, it's visually elegant, it's easy to assemble, there's no maintenance and adjusting. It delivers the function perfectly, but the repeatability of the same note is the slowest of all four solutions. So around the back, pro, it's fast. Cons, it's a time consuming assembly. Possible maintenance, maybe we need to adjust it so it works right over time and it needs space on the sides. Overcomplicated, it's fast and it's actually slim, that's a pro. A con is that it's overcomplicated it's and, <laughs> and it's difficult adjusting and difficult assembly. Let me just spell difficult correctly. It's a little bit difficult. So the Matrix Sentinels, a huge pro, it's the fastest gate of them all. Big con, it needs some redesign of the Marble Machine X and it needs a lot of space. I'm trying to decide here what instruments get what gate type. And I'm a little bit stuck on the bass. This is a render of the bass guitar. It's a project being worked on mostly by Phil and especially Carlos from Anjuda Guitars, the guitar builder, and also Tim Keller will machine this piece, I think. So if I go in here to CAD, I can actually measure the distance between the bass strings, just above 21. Then we can see that the around the back needs space on the sides. This is how the process have been. <laughs> so many decisions like this, you know, that is just snowballing. One thing de depends on another. So as you can see here, this distance is 21, which means there will not be a space for the around the back marble gate. So I can already exclude that option. And I think there's only one option left then for the bass guitar. L hooks. I'm a little bit bummed out by that. I would have liked the bass to be able to play, for example, do dit, do dit, do dit, do dit. And in 120 BPM, we have the same thing here. If you see my, my thumb, which is the low E string, say, do, 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 four on the floor. In that tempo, it's okay. But if it's a do dit, do dit, do dit, do dit, I don't think the bass will be able to play that with the L hooks gate type. The L hook marble gate will be a perfect solution for the bass guitar. And I just need to compose good music without being able to repeat the E string super fast. So it's going to be a design restriction for the composition, but I'm happy with that. L hook, make it simpler, Martin, and finish this machine. Very, very happy to have this decided. Vibraphone gets around the back. Cymbal get L hooks, doesn't need to be fast. Drums have Matrix Sentinels and bass have the L hooks. I wanna shout out the whole Marble Machine X engineering team for all the amazing work you're doing behind the scenes. I also wanna say thanks to everyone who are crowdfunding this project through Patreon and YouTube channel memberships. I've hardly given back anything in form of exclusive content and you just Keep on supporting this project because you believe in it. It's an amazing story, actually. Thank you, everyone. It's like 4,000 people or something in total telling me every month that I should continue with this project. It means so much, not only to be able to have people around me helping me, but also to be able to know that the idea is valid, that I'm not alone in believing in it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Shoop! <laughs>